Okay. So hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you, uh, Melissa and Prab, for being here as well. So Chameleon Technology CEO and founder, Melissa Acton Bazard, has worked in the staffing industry ever since graduating from the University of Washington with a political science degree in 1995. She planned to go to law school, but decided to call a timeout from school and get a job for a year. A friend working at one of the nation's leading staffing companies suggested Melissa apply there. Hired as the vendor coordinator for a large contract the company landed with Microsoft, Melissa quickly fell in love with the fast pace and personal relationships of the staffing business. Goodbye law school, hello, totally serendipitous career. After stints at several other staffing and consulting firms, Melissa started Chameleon Technologies in 2000. With invaluable firsthand experience, she was clear about the services and practices she wanted to offer, as well as what she would do differently with her own firm. With a focus on diversity and inclusion as a woman-owned business, Chameleon Technology set out to emphasize the importance of diversity in the workplace with an unparalleled focus on outstanding customer service. Thanks again for speaking today, guys, and good luck with your presentation. Thank you. I appreciate the introduction, Alex. Um, so I'll go ahead and jump in because we have limited time, but thank you for joining our session. Uh, my session is all around data and the importance of understanding and harnessing in your data. So I'll go ahead and get started. So I think the most important things to mention are the valuable insights that you can get from your data bringing, I think most of us, we have uh, you know, a CRM solution, we have uh, financial software, all these different sources of data, and how do we bring all that data in collectively and automate our reporting? So it's running your business through near, near real-time reports, uh, gaining very valuable and meaningful information through analytics, and also being able to make your data truly work for you in a real-time cadence. Oh. I think our slide just froze. There we go. So this is just a very uh, easy little demonstration of a data warehouse. So what ideally we're doing is taking all those disparate data sources and bringing them into one environment where all your data lives. So all your reporting is stemming from that single source of truth. So obviously what we all want is immediate ROI from our data. Sorry, the slides are a little behind my talking. So this is what we're commonly used to seeing our Excel spreadsheets like this, which we all do, which is stagnant uh, old data. The moment you export it into Excel, it's no longer live near real-time data. So this is exactly what most of us are looking for and this is what we're trying to avoid. So some of the issues that people have are there's ambiguity in the data sets or the reporting. Again, you're pulling from your financial software, your CRM, maybe your marketing software, and then you're blending all that together to make this report. So typically you have minimal visualization or understanding of that data. Um, it's a lot of manual reporting, like I shared. I would say a majority of businesses are doing a heavy amount of reporting in Excel or other formats. There's no automation, meaning you're continually redoing and repulling all that data to make that Excel spreadsheet or that report. There's limited data extraction. You know, if you're pulling from a CRM solution, usually you're tethered to the data points that you can pull out. And then there's no history tracking, as we've seen with a lot of applicant tracking systems, a lot of the data is overwritten. Maybe you have a consultant that's changed jobs over a five-year period and had different contracts. And as you put in that um, hourly rate adjustment and bill rate adjustment, that history, that historical history of that consultant is typically overwritten. So there's a lot of issues that people are having um, with the current reporting and BI solutions out there for staffing. So as we can see, these are a lot of the common tools that we use in staffing. Usually in a, you know, you have your applicant tracking system, you have all your, your job boards or other tools to find talent. Maybe you have, you know, a reference tool, you have a marketing tool, you have a business intelligence reporting tool. So a lot of different tools that we're investing in, in the staffing industry. The average ta staffing firm spends over $300,000 per year on subscriptions. If you're looking again at your CRM, your financial software, all your job boards, et cetera, that's kind of on average. 
Um, do you know what your return on investment is for these tools? A lot of times I'll speak to staffing owners and I'm like, well, what's your ROI on Dice or LinkedIn Recruiter or Monster? And they typically don't know. Let me pull that data, have my CFO run a report to show me um, my ROI. So how can you automate all of that and know your immediate return on investment through your own data? Um, basically, you want the data to tell you a story about your business and you want to be able to leverage it as a valuable tool to help you run your business. So just take a moment and think about our ROI, excuse me, return on investment. How much do you know? How much do you truly think you're saving or um, losing based on all these tools that you're actually um, allocating budget to? So just this is a small example. If on average, a lot of people are spending, whether it's operations, financial folks, or um, middle managers, recruiting managers, sales managers, about five to 10 hours a week building out um, reports of sorts to share with their executive and their individual contributors. How does that translate into dollars? Maybe two to $10,000 if you take those salaries and equate it to a dollar. And then typically there's a lot of errors that you're even finding in those reports because they're they're stagnant. Once you've pulled and built those reports, they're not animated and they're not pulling in real time data. And a lot of times there's human error. So typically you're holding your team accountable to those reports, but they're not even accurate. So you're losing money on time for individuals trying to actually build out these reports to tell a story with the data um, to hold their team accountable to these KPIs. Um, but it's a big time suck for your team. It's not accurate and it's not helping you as a business owner. So prob, I think the most meaningful part of uh, this discussion is going to be prob showing you what the tool does. I'm a visual person, so when you can see, and prob sitting behind me <laughs> in my office, uh, I'm a visual person. So when you can see what we've built and how it actually drives your business, that's when you're going to start to understand the power of analytics and pulling out all that ATS CRM data, maybe pulling in some financial data or anything else you want. We're helping you build your own data warehouse environment. And then we have these robust reports that actually tell a story and allow you to truly manage your business with near real-time analytics. So I'm gonna let Prob take it over now. Um, do you wanna mute yours? Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, it, it looks like you're muted now. Are you muted? I'm muted. I'm not muted. Okay. Go okay. Okay. Um, so I was, as, as I was saying, in the company overview, you can see how um, all, all the information that you want in one, is in one place in regards to any of the companies that you're working with. And same goes for recruiters. So if you wanted to pick a certain recruiter that you wanted to see all their stats from the past couple of years, or maybe just a month or a quarter, or 
etc. You can do that very easily by filtering it. And we can create pretty much any filter. All of what you're seeing here is highly customizable. And we make sure that we can create any KPIs that we have access to the data of. So as long as we have access to the data, we're going to be able to create this, um, this kind of report for you that gives you all the visuals that you'd want in one place. Moving on to the sales overview, um, another thing I would like to show you is that with each visual, you can see that we can expand it. So in focus mode, you'll be able to look at every every visual, you know, in more detail in a larger form. So in this case, um, for example, with sales overview, this reports obviously for sales managers and sales people, but it also lets you gain insight into your data in the sense of like employee performance. So if you're looking at jobs added over time, you can see here that Zeta has been your top runner, you know, for the last like five years, but someone who's else has been working the same amount of time and the company has much lower job order job orders over the years. So maybe, you know, you could think about retraining them, perhaps um, having Zeta train them, maybe Zeta deserves a promotion. So it just allows you to gauge employee performance and see like where you should be, you know, um, helping your company grow and how to do that, how to become more efficient because you have this data that you can use. Um, with jobs added, by, jobs by client company, you can see um, based on the companies that you're working with, on the jobs added and how many jobs you've placed, you can see the percentage of jobs placed. And that's very handy because you can see how well you're performing in that aspect. And again, with every with every report that we have, we can create any filter for you. So I could break down sales rep by Zeta. I could say only look at the jobs that she has placed and the ones that are currently active for the past uh, four years. So this is, or five years. So this is a way to, for you to get all your information in one place about all your employees, whether they're a recruiter or a salesperson. And I'll jump into this recruiting overview right now so you can get a more detailed understanding of what would be useful in terms of your open job orders. So every day or maybe twice a week, you probably have like morning meetings as a recruiting firm to go through um, all the jobs that you have open. Um, this is something that we want to help with because we believe that it will It'll make it easier if all the information is in one place. So you can see here that we have com we have the company that you're working with, um, the job title. So for instance, this is Tandem Developer. You can see that there are currently five um, jobs submitted. Uh, sorry, five candidates submitted, um, two submitted, and three interviewed actually. But not only are we trying to f help you figure out like what information we're presenting you, but also how to clean up your data. So you can see. So you can see on the first row that that data line is empty, but that showcases that that's something that needs to be corrected. So from there, um, we're not just helping you, you know, see your data, but also clean it up. So in that case, we'll find out like, oh, a recruiter in Canada is missing, but someone was submitted to a client. We need to figure out what happened there. So we want to help you clean up your data so that when you do have a report like this, it's accurate and reliable because that's the whole point. And then with other KPIs that I have here that I can demonstrate um, with each recruiter, there's like the activity levels, so submission counts, starts, recruiter efficiency, average margin percentage, and dollar. Um, and then not only are we looking at your pipeline from new leads to place, if you want to add on-screen interviews, phone calls, that all will be in that all will be included. But then we also go through your average days to status. So not only will you be able to see how long it's many like counts you have on each um, of each process, but how long it takes you to place a candidate. So the gap here is 10 days between interviewing and placement. How can you be more efficient? How can how can you actually, you know, gain insight from this information? Um, this is a candidate pipeline report. Again, just more detail about like the average days of status, the job activity, job fill time, recruiter coverage, sales rep coverage and a pipeline from all the way from your candidates to interviews, but also like to compare it to your target. And speaking of targets, so I'll um, reduce, I will change the dates to just a random week in March. And you can see here that once you give us your targets, we're gonna be able to bring in your actuals. So for example, Zeta, she's had two appointments that week, no job orders, but three monthly placements already. And then you can see based on these dials that her goal for weekly appointments is five. She's at two and last week she had eight. 
And then monthly placements, her goal was two. She's already at three. And last month, she also had three. So this gives you a sense of um, where you're at in comparison to your goals. And we'll be able to work with you for both your salespeople and your recruiters to make sure that all your um, that you're you know you're you're trying your best to meet your goals, but you're also tracking and um, looking at employee performance. And then um, another extra report that we kind of have is a month to month comparison, and this looks at everything. So it's beyond the finances of average margin dollar percentage and revenue and billable consultants. The green showcases that you've done better this month than you did last month, but then the red showcases that you've done, you know, um, you've done, you did better last month than you did this month. So we, we kind of make it more visually appealing to look at this data month to month, and we can create any kind of report for you, but these are just the ones that we have in our CAN reports. Um, this report also shows you placements by recruiter, placements by sales rep uh, on a month to month comparison. So you can see how well your employees are performing on a month to month basis. And then same goes with your recruiting and marketing tools. So as a recruiting firm, you're probably using multiple recruiting tools like Dice, Bullhorn, Indeed, or just referrals or LinkedIn. You'd want to know how many placements are coming, how many candidates you're placing from these sources um, versus last month or in general if you just want to know like how many were from those tools this will help you to determine your roi as melissa mentioned in our presentation roi is extremely important to know how well you're performing and how well your tools are working as well as your resources so this is supposed to give you insight into that and then last but not least we have this activity detail that looks at um, a sales rep and recruiter stats with the current open job orders and showcases what are the cold jobs currently and the warm jobs. And again, these are just examples of what we've created. There are so many more KPIs out there that we can help with. And, and from there, we're going to be able to create any kind of report that you're looking for. I will jump into finances so that you're able to see um, not that not just the KPIs that we have to offer in terms of front office reports, but also back office reports. Here we go. So with our finance with our finances, this is a demo report for specifically Bullhorn and Bullhorn back office. But again, we can work with QuickBooks, Job Diva back office, and any other ATS or CRM that you may be using. Um, for the financial summary, you can see this is an isolated chart that goes through your overall revenue, gross margin, gross margin percent, and billable consultants, but also your year-to-date, quarter-to-date, and month-to-date. And it's all isolated in the sense that none of the visuals over here are connected, so you can see that it goes blank. But the other three will showcase placements, gain, and loss by month, month-over-month -month change in gross margin, and then revenue and margin by date. And you can see the split here by month, um, so it's really easy to understand. One of our most important and useful reports is definitely the financial detail. Um, I've clicked on April 2018, but from here you can see in that month specifically all the details that you'd want regarding a consultant or a company. So if I clicked on Christy as a consultant, I'd see her revenue, gross margin, total pay, total hours. I'm sorry, I'm going to click on um, Angelica. Um, you can see her revenue, gross margin, total pay, total hours, bill rate, pay rate, margin, dollar and percentage account manager and the recruiter on the job. And from here, not only are we able to look at bill rate and pay rate, but we're also capturing the latest bill rate and pay rate. So you're not making mistakes about, you know, how much, um, when the rate changes, because Bullhorn and Bullhorn back office flows only in a one direction. Um, another thing you can see from these financial reports is your top performing consultant. And we can create this for you that will allow you to see how well um, each of your consultants are performing. And again, you can break it down by company, by account manager, by recruiter, consultant, or placement ID. And we can also exclude perm placements if that um, is something that you'd like us to do because um, we, we have that option as well. And then we have a month-over-month month, um, 
report over here that mostly goes over timesheets. So you can see we have this uh, scroll over here that allows you to select the day of the month when you expect timesheets to come in. You can see that the billable this month is 83, so you'll be looking for 83 timesheets. And you can see that as of a certain week, only 79 have come in. So you know that you're missing a couple timesheets. And this is a problem that we've noticed with a lot of our clients on collecting timesheets. So we're we're doing so we created this report so that you would be able to not just have your financials in one space, but actually use them to close your books on a monthly basis. Um, regard re, in regards to your fiscal year, however you may do that. But we want to create this report that shows you all the information that you could possibly need in terms of finances. And then as an addition, we also offer commission reports. And we know that every company does commission differently. So we will let you will let us know like how your commission structure works. And then we bring it in and we create these automated, automated reports for you that we pre-calculated. So you have all your um, commission, not just for your recruiters, for your account managers too, and your consultants all in one spot, just to make it easier. So these are the main reports I wanted to show you today. Thank you so much for listening in. If you have any like questions, please feel free to ask on the chat or email us. We'll put our emails on the chat as well. Um, if there's certain reports that you're looking for, something that you know we haven't shown you here, or if you're interested in um, automating any other reports besides your financials, maybe your HR department reports or sales reports or anything like that, we're definitely capable of doing that. I'll trying to show the gamification. Yeah, um, we can also show you um, gamification reports that we've created. This is allowing us to track um, employee performance again, but also as a team, you can see how well everyone's doing you know, in a certain month, in a certain week, in a certain quarter, and then you can select your own avatars. And this essentially will allow you to um, promote healthy competition in your office. We have a we have a professional version. We have a fun game version that I just showed you. We have an NFL version. Um, we also have a March Madness version. But essentially, you let us know your goals like before. And based on the goals that you have, we go, go in and make sure your actuals are pulled in from your data. And then from there, um, you'll see like how many, you'll see your placements added, your initial contacts, your jobs added. And then when you meet your goal, you get an award. And then you're essentially like in first place or second place or third as the top three, maybe as a CEO or a manager, you wanna offer um, incentives for people who make the top three. Um, and yeah, essentially we're trying to promote healthy competition, use reports to accelerate your growth of the company and grow together as a whole company. Um, but yeah, this is essentially our, all the reports that we have, to, we have offered, we can, we can offer you. And again, there's so many more, that, so much more that we can do. Um, we're looking forward to hearing from you, any ideas or any, um, things that you'd like us to create in regards to your data. We are welcome. We're, we're happy to help. So thank you so much. Um, I'll pass it on back to Melissa if she has anything to add, or we can leave it to questions. I oh, you got to mute me. I did. There we go. Uh, thanks, Prod. So essentially, she went through that really fast. So hopefully, you got a chance to just get a, a taste of the reports. But I think the thing to capture from her presentation is these are near real-time data feeds. So it's no exporting of reports, no building of reports. We have already built those reports for the staffing industry. And all we do is pull your data out and plug them into those reports. And then we customize them. So they follow your lingo. I think a lot of staffing owners and um, managers get frustrated that your office does it different and you can't tailor, you know, all the different reporting options out there to really meet your business needs. So we customize the visuals, we customize the lingo, we can remove or add things. So it's highly customizable. Again, it's near real-time analytics. We use Power BI on the back end. You're not really seeing that because you're going into a portal for your reports, but it's a robust reporting solution where you have your own data warehouse environment where we're pulling in all your data storing your historic data so you can see trends, um, you can start to do some predictive analytics. So it's just a very comprehensive solution. And staffing owners that are not driving their business through near real-time analytics are not gonna be bleeding edge as we continue 
um, to harness in data and really the companies that are leveraging that data are the ones that are gonna continue to scale at a rapid pace. So that's pretty much the presentation. I know we had um, 30 minutes and I think we have a small audience, so I don't see any questions. Um, Alex, is there anything else you wanted me to address or um, discuss? Hi, yeah, um, I just went back on quickly just because uh, I heard you call me. Okay. Um, you can hear me okay, right? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, we, um, yeah, so I, I guess, um, maybe just what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Or, you know, should they reach out through LinkedIn or through your website or? Yeah, Prob's going to pull up on her screen um, our, her email. She's putting it in the chat. There's Prob's email. And she's, She's probably uh, the best person um, to reach out to. Prob does all of our demos. Um, and then our website, she'll go ahead and post there as well. And just to touch on this, this whole product, the SaaS-based product that we built and fine-tuned came from a lot of problems that I had with my own staffing business. And we custom built a tool that was helping my small business that now has started to help the market as a whole. So I really understand all the pain points as a business owner around poor analytics and reporting that these ATS CRM solutions, as well as all the manual reporting and frustrations that they all provide. So this solution is really here to, to help you grow and understand and better manage your business. So our website's there, um, Prob's LinkedIn. Do you wanna put my LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. um, Prob's email, those are the best ways uh, to get a hold of us. And we're down um, in a suburb outside of Seattle, Kirkland, Washington, so down in the States. Um, but we already have a few uh, clients up in Canada and have enjoyed partnering with them and had great success. So. We're also available to provide references and a lot of those accolades on our website as well. I think we lost you, Alex. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Sorry, I think I was having some issues by connection there. Uh I think we lost you, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we're fine. All right. Well, I think we're we're done with our presentation. Thank you for those that joined and have a wonderful day. Uh, if there aren't any things to put in the chat, I guess we'll give you back uh, three minutes of your time. <laughs> yeah. So have a good day.